Good morning. So we woke up this morning and we noticed that some stuff was not in order. All these onions had gotten knocked over by something. And then what did you see? I noticed the row cover was off over there. The row cover, let's check it out. So so we noticed this row cover here had been taken taken off and we didn't know how it got taken off and then we came over here and we saw that there was this big indent <laughs> right in the middle of this this row cover and I was like what the heck so I was walking over here this morning and I look over and there's a hole in my greenhouse so we're wondering what tried to get in I'm sure it was a bear so check this out so the bear essentially got in here must have just ripped it open here with his teeth or something. So kind of a bummer, but if we're going to get this fixed up, we'll just patch it up with some tape and, and get it nice and fixed. It'll be okay. I'll show you kind of what it looks like inside here. You can see he couldn't even got in anyways because we have a table there. So just one of the many threats we have out here. Bear, elk. Little Charlie the deer that keeps coming around. Yeah, sucks, but uh, we'll get it fixed up and get that greenhouse back in working order. So I was just doing some loads of dirt here and Ashley says, I found another clue. So let me show you what's going on. So we we use this, uh, this shower bag to wash our hands. And you can see We've got some holes in it. We've got one there. One on the back side here. I think he came down this road here. Came down here. Came through here. And then jumped up on its hind legs here. And kind of bit this just to see what it was. Came over here. Let's see here. I just planted this and this was knocked over. This one right here had marks in it, like it was trying to grab it. He was pretty close to the container. You can see there's the the front and the tomato plant that he knocked over was like right there. So, you know, that's a pretty close proximity <laughs> to where we're sleeping at night. So, uh, that's why you don't bring food in your tent. Summer's over. It's fall. Soon to be winter. That's why I'm eating an apple. Apples are in. There's a Liberty apple. It's pretty tasty, nice and crisp. So today, what we're gonna be doing is fixing a little hole in the greenhouse. So you guys saw earlier that we had a little visitor and that visitor tore a hole in our greenhouse. So today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to repair this hole. So let me grab all the parts and I'll come back out and then we'll get this thing fixed up. I just grabbed all the parts needed to fix this hole and I'm going to go through them with you real quick. First thing you're going to need is some plastic. This is called poly and it's what I used on the greenhouse here. Next you're going to need a tape measure to measure out the hole, scissors to cut the plastic, and then this is a special tape made out of the same material as this plastic and that's going to go around the uh, pieces of plastic that we cut to size on this hole. 
So let's measure out the hole real quick and then we'll cut some plastic, get some tape up there and then slap it on the greenhouse. So we got our measurements, it's two feet by four feet. I'm leaving extra room on each side to make sure that the tape makes good contact on the plastic. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut out our, uh, our pieces and then we'll put some tape on it and then we'll get it up on the greenhouse. So I got my two pieces cut here and the reason I'm using two pieces instead of one piece is one piece will go on the outside, another piece will go on the inside. We ended up using two layers of plastic on our greenhouse and the plastic is four mil so I just bought a big sheet of four mil, saved some money there and just double layered everything. And what ended up happening was the moisture that the greenhouse created ended up getting caught in between the two layers. So I wasn't getting as much moisture in the greenhouse. And I've went ahead and I've already taped everything. And the way you want to tape it is you want to tape it so that the tape is facing the sky. And that way none of the tape will get caught on the grass and prevent you from making good contact on the plastic. The other thing you want to do is just make sure that it's not a windy day when you're doing this because the wind will make your plastic flap all over the place and it'll get hard to get that tape on there. So I've got everything prepped and ready to go on the greenhouse. So I'm going to go run and get Ashley. I'm going to have her come, back, come out and help me put this up. It's always best to have two people. That way you can just make sure everything's straight and perfectly aligned and that you're getting contact across all corners. So let me go grab Ashley, we'll come back and we'll get this plastic slapped up there. Can you help me hang the plastic? Got Ashley here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the plastic I cut with mm -hmm. the tape and I need you to just make sure that it everything is straight. Okay. So Okay, now we're going to go inside and we'll do the other side. All done. Ow! <laughs> Good job. Okay, we're all done. That was it. So we got both sides up, and now we just have to make sure that a bear doesn't get back in here. Ah! Oh, a bear! <laughs> <laughs> I managed to get rid of the bear and I wanted to let you guys know that 
if you're not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you thought this video was cool shoot us a like and uh, click that notification so you get notified every time we post a new video and drop us some comments below and that's it see you on the next one bye